you're listening to the Digitally Irresistible Podcast, where we cover the optimization of digital technologies and irresistible people. Brought to you by i Each episode features someone who sheds a little more light on the ins and outs of delivering a great employee and customer experience that has a measurable impact on the business. And now, here's today's guest. Hey there, welcome to another episode of the Digitally Irresistible Podcast. I'm your host, Bernie Borges. Today's guest is Katie Mortar. Welcome, Katie. Thank you so much for having me, Bernie. Absolutely, Katie. Katie, your involvement in the i Cares program as an HR generalist is very rewarding to those who receive a benefit in their time of need, but it also must be very rewarding to you as a resource to those folks. So on this episode, I want to look at how the i Cares program is helping i employees in their time of special need and how we can get involved. But first, Let's begin with your introduction. Tell us your career backstory and how you got to your current role. Absolutely. So I started in recruiting during a ramp up of a call center and I transitioned into the human resource department. I've been in various roles throughout my time in HR and I most recently joined i in December of 2016. Well, that wasn't too recently, but, uh, but I, I, <laughs> I get your point. Uh, glad to have you. You play a, a key role. Um, let's talk about the i Cares program. As you know, Katie, we we did a special episode, a dedicated episode on the i Cares program back on episode 26 with Lauren Dennis, where he reviewed the entire program. But for those that maybe didn't catch that episode, give us a kind of a, a refresher on what is the i Cares program. Sure. So i Cares is a 501c3 nonprofit charitable organization. It's a separate entity from i and it's uh, managed by a board of directors and a steering committee. Okay. I think a key point there that I want to really put an exclamation point on, Katie, is that it is a separate organization. It's not something that's rolled up underneath i It's a standalone, as you say, nonprofit organization. And it's dedicated to providing i employees who have a special need with financial assistance to get them through that, that specific situation. So I've asked you to come prepared today to share some examples of i employees who have, in fact, received financial assistance from or through i Care. So why don't you share a few examples? Absolutely. So one of the uh, first examples I'd like to share is we helped over 30 employees during Typhoon Odette in December of last year. Um, This was a devastating hurricane or typhoon that caused widespread devastation uh, in different areas in the Philippines. And so this was something that happened anything from total foundation destroyed of a home to uh, roof patching or walls needing rebuilt. Um, The documentation was very hard and difficult to look at during those um, reviews of the situations. I bet. Um, but we were able to help the employees and provide some assistance so that they could begin to rebuild. Fantastic. Okay. So, and you, so that was in the Philippines. Yes. Typhoon. Okay. All right. Another example. Uh, there was a winter storm that happened in the southern uh, U.S., in Texas, actually, that caused freezing. And as you can imagine, the homes in that area aren't accustomed to having low, low cold temperatures. Uh, this caused pipes to burst in an employee's home and caused a lot of destruction within their home. So we were able to provide some help and assistance so that this employee could get started with uh, redoing their kitchen. Okay. Okay. Well, we all need a kitchen, so understand why that that was a big need. Um, okay, another example. An employee's child was diagnosed with a serious health condition and is undergoing treatment. Uh, we were able to help the employee uh, with unreimbursed medical expenses. Okay, well, again, um, that can be a very devastating thing for a family, so I can understand uh, the need for that. Um, any other examples? 
And within that same category, we had an employee who reached out. She was a single mother of five children, and she was asking for us to help her with prescription costs for one month in order to allow her to get back to work and to help her um, with the medication that she needed to undergo her treatment. i Cares is dedicated to helping i employees, their family members, and their local communities in need of financial assistance due to life-altering or catastrophic events beyond their control. There are three ways to get involved. Go to iCoreCares.com to set up a one-time or recurring payroll deduction or to give by credit card. You can also contribute with each purchase you make on smile.amazon.com. Just select iCore Cares as your charity of choice and a portion of each purchase you make at smile.amazon.com is donated to iCore Cares. And Katie, as you know, back on episode 35, um, we featured Kevin Anthony Paredes on his career journey. But part of his story is that he he got COVID and he became seriously ill and he needed to be hospitalized. And locally, he's in the Philippines. Locally, at the time, it was really the kind of the height of the pandemic. And there were no beds available in the local hospitals. In fact, there were no ambulances available. And so in addition to the financial support that he received through the i Cares program, his local leadership team went into action and they arranged for an ambulance. They arranged for a bed in a hospital and he was able to get the medical care that he needed. And he was also able to get financial assistance with the medical bills as a result of that, that, um, that stay, that, that, that battle with COVID. And fortunately, you know, he's recovered and he's doing great and he's very, very grateful for that. And I think the common thread here, Katie, and I'll ask you to comment on this, is that the need is always unique to the employee. And it, it just kind of comes down to that it's a it's a, a significant need that the employee has, and there's a process by which they can apply. So why don't you maybe speak to that? What's the how how do I iCore employees actually seek assistance from iCore Cares? Sure. So two things. That's a perfect example where leadership and HR work to go above and beyond for our employee. And that's what makes i feel like such a family in so many of these situations. Um, they really were able to help him out in his uh, situation. And if anyone is uh, knows of anyone that's looking for uh, assistance or you yourself are looking to request assistance from i Cares, you can go on the website, but I also encourage you to get in touch with your local HR support because they can help you with that application process and the supporting documentation that's needed. Okay. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Katie, we are um, publishing this in the middle of April, 2022. And and in about a month from now, from the time of this, this video publishing, uh, there's a charity event that's coming up. Why don't you tell us about that? Yes. On May 11th, 2022, we're hosting our fifth annual charity golf tournament. Uh, This is our biggest fundraiser of the year where 100% of the funds that we raise go to the i Cares Fund. Fantastic. Should be a great event and it's going to be a lot of fun. Happens to be uh, nearby locally to to where I am here in the Tampa Bay area in Florida. So looking forward to to that event. Um, Katie, how can people get involved and supporting i Cares, whether it's i employees or even outside of i Great question. So i can donate through payroll deductions, which can be found on the i Cares website. There's two options. You can set up a one-time payment or a reoccurring payment. Um, we ask that employees consider donating just the cost of a cup of coffee once a week uh, to our fund to help us with other employees' requests. Uh, for non-employees, we have our eBill Express, uh, which can be accessed through the i Cares website. We also have a QR code, which we can share. Um, it's a great option that takes you right through that process very easily. And then the last suggestion I have is a lot of us use Amazon, and they have a program that's called Amazon Smiles. We have an i Cares specific Amazon link uh, that we can send out an, as part of this so that everyone can link up their Amazon and those um, dollars that you're already spending, a portion of that goes to i Cares. Okay, I want to come back to the... Um to the payroll deduction method yes. for our core employees. Uh, is that, is that contribution made pre-tax? Yes, Bernie, that's a pre-tax donation. Fantastic. Thank you for clarifying that. 
I also want to mention that all of the, the links that you just mentioned, we're going to link those up in the show notes for this episode. And the show notes is both on the podcast player. So whatever pay, player you used, you can scroll down and you'll find it there or on our blog because we publish a blog with each and every episode. Katie, before we let you go, uh, I do want to ask you, I think you know it's customary that we ask every guest on the Digitally Irresistible podcast, when you're not working, what do you like to do for fun? Great question. I love spending time with my family, especially my nephews and my friends. Uh, but more recently, I've become a therapy dog team with my dog, Callie, and we lo visit local nursing homes and schools and other organizations around the community. That is awesome. Wow. That's why I love hearing the responses in real time so that uh, I can respond in the moment. I want to tell you when you, when you shared that answer, I got chill bumps. Oh, that good. is such an awesome thing to do. I, I bet you get so much uh, fulfillment from doing that. That's great. I love spreading smiles and joy. Exactly. Exactly. Something that's in our DNA at i mm -hmm. Well, speaking of DNA, Katie, I just want to thank you for what you're doing uh, at i in your role as an HR generalist and in your role in the i CARES program. We really are creating smiles by helping i employees when they have a, a special time of need and you're playing an important role. And I just want to thank you for coming on this episode and sharing a little bit more about the program, some, some recent examples of people who have uh, received assistance through the program. And again, just want to thank you for being here on this episode of the Digitally Irresistible Podcast. Thank you so much for having me for this wonderful opportunity. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Digitally Irresistible Podcast, where we cover the optimization of digital technologies and irresistible people, delivering a great employee and customer experience that has a measurable impact on the business. Brought to you by i -Core. Be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast player so you don't miss future episodes.